Alibaba just stated that they plan to reorganize their international and domestic e-commerce business and replace their current CFO. So that begs the question, what exactly are the repercussions of these moves? And is the market buying any of it in light of the year to date share price crash? Well guys, as we get into it, please don't forget to smash that like button. You're watching more money. Let's get it. As Alibaba is grappling with stronger competition, a slowing economy, a potential housing crisis, and continued regulatory headwinds, management have stated that they will reorganize its international and domestic e-commerce business as reported by Reuters. And it's looking like they're gonna be forming two new units for their digital commerce business. The first will be their international digital commerce business unit, and the second will be the China digital commerce business unit. So it really looks like they're separating out their digital retail global businesses from their digital retail Chinese businesses, which is a great move, I think. As you'd imagine, their international digital commerce unit will include AliExpress, which sells to retail buyers throughout the world. I'm sure you've seen their ads on Instagram or Facebook. The business unit is also expected to hold Lazada and Alibaba.com, which are both more focused on selling to overseas business customers. Lazada specifically is just completely geared towards Southeast Asia. And personally, I think that this business unit existing separately is extremely important as Alibaba aims to make globalization a key focus area in addition to cloud computing and domestic consumer spending. Now, they already did kind of break this out in their financials. So we did get an idea of what their domestic e-commerce versus their international e-commerce was. But I think in terms of holding management accountable to the results in the business units, I think that's largely what they're going after here. But I also hope that as they separate out these business units, they will provide more disclosure here. As you guys may recall, when I covered the Q2 results, I did state that I don't have enough information to take up my forecast for the international business, despite the businesses doing absolutely amazing. So this reorganization can really go a long way into providing more information here to allow me to forecast the international business much better. The China Digital Commerce Unit will include Alibaba's two main marketplaces, Taobao and Tmall. You guys already know Tmall is for established brands and Taobao is for pretty much everyone. So overall, I do believe that this is good news. It is what I've been waiting for. As these new disclosures trickle out, I will be using that information to update my model. And of course, I'll let you guys know. They also announced that they're going to be replacing their current CFO, Maggie Wu, with their deputy CFO, Toby Zhu. I don't really see anything newsworthy here as Maggie is expected to continue to serve as an executive director on Alibaba's board. But I would add that Toby recently came over as a deputy CFO from PricewaterhouseCoopers, one of the big four audit firms globally. And I suspect that he was the partner on the Alibaba audit. So as Alibaba addresses US audit regulatory concerns, it would be beneficial for them to have that level of expertise at the table. But if we're gonna be honest guys, that is a weak benefit at best because they already had him as part of the fold. So I think it's likely just a natural succession plan to bring the next generation of leadership on. And what a time for Toby to really take helm. I think a big test that Toby will have to face as he steps into this highly visible role is how Alibaba navigates any potential fallouts from the real estate crisis that China is currently in the midst of. You should know about the Evergrande led real estate crisis currently unfolding in China if you are to seriously be investing in the country. I'm currently releasing a multi-part series on it and you can get to the first episode right here.